Hello, May class, and welcome to your first, well, your next English lesson after your hook lesson. So, obviously, we are learning about ancient Egypt, and some of you may have seen yesterday that we're actually going to be looking at graphic novels. So, I'm going to share my screen with you. All right, so we're going to be looking at what is a graphic novel today. So, I want you to pause and give it a think. What do you think a graphic novel is? So a graphic novel is a novel in a comic book format. <coughs> so we all know what a comic book is. Hopefully some of you have read comic books or you've seen them. So a graphic novel is similar to a comic book, but it is a novel. So it is a story in the same format as a comic book. A graphic, so how are they different from comic books? A graphic novel is a longer, more complex piece of text that usually covers the storyline in one book, whereas a comic book is a lot of shorter, is a lot shorter and tells the story over many issues or volumes, so many different comic books. So the graphic novel is the whole story in one long <clears throat> book, whereas a comic book could cover a lot <coughs> a story over a few books. So what is a graphic novel? A graphic novel, as we mentioned, is a type of long comic book. So what's a comic book is probably a good starting point. You may think you know the answer to this, but stick with me for a few minutes. A comic book is a magazine or bound book that contains comics and they're a medium for expressing information or an artistic idea defined by different things so exciting information and um, short sentences and it's defined by pictures and text that's written all together <clears throat> so graphic novels are images used in a sequence so you can see that actually these three images that we have on the page tell us a story just by looking at what is happening but we've also got the text that goes with it telling us what we are reading about so images used in a sequence <clears throat> graphic novels are you graphic novels use text and pictures to give us the information they use the same format as comic books and we will go into um, the format that they are going to be using. We will go into a bit of detail about how they're written, how they're structured, what goes into them. And graphic novels um, are different from comics in that they usually contain standalone stories. So you should be able to, um, if, for example, this was a graphic novel, if we read the whole thing, it would be one whole story, whereas a comic book could be a story over a few books. And usually they have interesting plots. And the story that we're going to be looking at uh, this term is an adventure story told through a graphic novel. <clears throat> this is our text map for the term. <coughs> so I've zoomed in and our story map looks a little bit different today because obviously it is a story map with the graphic novel so what you while i'm reading it i want you to pay attention to how it's structured and what it says so pharaoh tutankhamun that is the heading right all this is mine now i can do with it what i will when pharaoh tutmos died egypt was a rich and peaceful country but all this changed when the crown passed to his youngest brother, Akhenaten. Akhenaten showed little respect for his people's ancient beliefs. He decreed that the sun god, Aten, was the only god. He sacked all of Amun Ra's priests and destroyed all their shrines and temples. Aten is a minor god. He is the only god. You'll anger the other gods. They don't exist and you'll be sacked. One god can't look after all of us all. He has the power of all the gods within him. That's not possible. Gods, strangle the heretic now. Pharaoh Akhenaten took little interest in governing Egypt. His only interest was in building temples in honor of Aten. 
Pharaoh, the Nubians are about to invade us. Go away. Can't you see I'm busy building a temple for Artan? <clears throat> Uh, the people were confused and angry at the loss of their ancient gods, and Egypt fell into a state of disorder. Neighbor, why have you killed me for two grains of wheat? Why not? There, were, there are no gods to anger, except Artan, and he's an imposter. So when Akhenaten died and his son Tutankhamun became pharaoh, they were delighted, even though he was a frail nine-year-old boy who walked with a stick. Hurrah, hurrah, it's Tut for Pharaoh. With the help of his visor, A, Tutankhamun tried to uphold his dad's beliefs, but he soon saw how unhappy it made his people. I wonder if dad could have been wrong about this art and God thing. If only we were still living, we would tell you that he was. <clears throat> Your father will be, uh, sorry, so after two years, he changed his name to Tutankhamun. Sorry, at the top there was Tutankhamun. After two years, he changed his name to Tutankhamun in honor of Amun Ra and reinstated the temple, reinstated the priests in the temples. Your father will be turning in his tomb. Mother, I'm 11 years old and I'll do what I want. Praise be to Ra. He threw lavish parties in honor of Amun Ra and gradually began to win the hearts of the old priests and his people. So, are we all friends again? Can we live in peace? Yes. Thanks to our great God, Amun Ra. Then, when he was only 19 years old, Tutankhamun had a fall and fractured his thigh. Frail from birth and also suffering from malaria, the young pharaoh quickly weakened and died. Which God is going to save me now? I warned you not to climb the pyramids. <clears throat> So, as you can see from our story map, we have the caption of the text underneath. We've got text underneath and then the speech bubbles um, of what the actual characters in the story are saying. That is written in the speech bubble. You also have things, we will discuss this obviously tomorrow, things like thought bubbles as well. One of the very important things that I want you to notice is that when someone is speaking, unlike when we normally have writing, because it's coming out of a speech bubble, there aren't any speech marks. Okay, so that is something to bear in mind when you are reading your graphic novel. We're going to go through the key vocabulary now. Our 10 words that we are looking at today are Pharaoh, Egypt, ancient, beliefs, honor, priest, shrines, temples, disorder, and lavish. A pharaoh was a ruler in ancient Egyptian times. Egypt is a country in the north is in sorry it is a country in northeastern Africa. <clears throat> if you remember from our hook lesson yesterday, it borders on Asia over there and has the uh, the sea on either side. Ancient, something in the very distant past or something that no longer exists is something we refer to as ancient. Beliefs, something we believe in or consider to be true is someone's beliefs. Now we have religious beliefs, we can have um, our own beliefs on society of how it should be run, they're what we believe and what we think to be true. <clears throat> Honor is to highly respect something. So to be honorable is, would be highly respected by people. If you honor something, you are respectful towards it and um, you hold it in high, you hold it up high and you um, are respectful towards what it is or uh, what someone says is you honor their beliefs or you honor their life is that you respect you are respectful to someone or you pay respect to them so for example if you wanted to honor um, someone who died you would be respectful towards their life maybe you speak fondly about them you have good things to say you just honor their memory <clears throat> a priest uh, the role of the priest was very important in egyptian society the egyptians believed that the gods lived in temples only the priest was allowed to enter the sacred area of the temple and approach the statue that represented the gods or goddesses. 
and you still have priests um, in religious buildings to this day. <clears throat> a shrine. A shrine is a place that is regarded as special and holy because it has to do with something sacred or special. Temples is a building. You still get temples now, but um, a temple is a place where people go to worship their gods. So they will go to a temple. Disorder. Something that is out of order or it's not organized is in disorder. So sometimes you may hear the words chaos and disorder together. It means it's not organized. It's a bit chaotic. It's not in order. It's out of order. Lavish. <clears throat> Lavish is something that's really rich or expensive and it looks expensive and it's got Maybe it's like if you look at that ballroom, it's got gold. It's got these lavish lights hanging, these really fancy looking lights. You've got the candlesticks along the table. It just makes it look expensive. Right. Your three tasks today are as follows. Create your own definition for what a graphic novel is and write that out for me. I would like it, please, in a full sentence with as much information as you can put into it. We did spend a bit of time seeing what the difference between a graphic novel and a comic was. So maybe that can go into your definition. Then have a look at um, your vocabulary words and write your own definitions for the vocabulary words, your own understanding of them. And then your third task is to use those vocabulary words in your own sentences. One of the things that you need to make sure of, of when you are using the, the words in sentences is that you are using them in the correct tense. So please make sure you pay attention to that. <clears throat> Don't forget to share this with us all on Tapestry. Um, please make sure that it is uploaded by 4 p.m. this afternoon. <clears throat>